Pakistan, along with Bangladesh, was placed on a red list at the start of April. Despite a clear disparity in cases with other nations on the green list who had a higher infection rate as well as had a variant of concern. Myself and other APPG colleagues have requested disclosure of the figures behind this decision, which we still have not received. Now the corona positivity rate in Pakistan has dropped to 1.78% and there is no report of a variant of concern from the nation. They have also recently developed the PAC-WAC, which will help in the fight. Can the minister today give me a full answer on as to why Pakistan was placed on the red list in the first place? And secondly, when will Pakistan be taken out of the red list and placed either into amber or ideally green? Thank you very much, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. I think the, the point that the, the Honourable Lady in the whole House will uh, wish to recognise is last year we were only really able to look at the level of infection, as she rightly mentions, uh, as the only indication really of, of, uh, of a country's position in what is now a traffic light system. But as she'll see when she goes to the JBC methodology, it's now far more complex than that. Many more factors are taken into account, in particular and including the extent to which a country freely uploads its data to GISAID, uh, the extent to which uh, uh, issues relating to sequencing is, is uh, carried out, uh, the uh, extent to which a country uh, has vaccinated its domestic uh, population, and much else besides, all available on the JBC website. Uh, and I'm very happy uh, on her behalf to put the authorities in uh, Pakistan and make this offer across the House in touch with our scientists in order to better understand uh, what an individual country might need to do in order to find itself back on the amber or indeed the uh, green list. Mm -hmm.